previously on Dance Moms. It's feet dating. dating. <laughs> I need somebody to rub my feet. Replace us, that's fine. Chloe is suspended, so is her mother. And the duet will be Kendall and Nia. There's Jill, having a private with Kendall. Hey, guess you didn't expect to see me out here, <laughs> huh? Anything to move Kendall off that spot. I don't feel like we're being a team. I think you two have a big hole to dig yourselves out of. I didn't do anything behind your back. I did it right in front of you, and I did it to benefit my child. Coming up on Dance Moms. The name of the group routine is Don't Ask, Just Tell. If you want to be Maddie, then you need to get the face. <laughs> That's it, good, good, good. There was some guy. Hello? You can have the first bite. I'm going to take Kenzie to the hospital. What do you mean, the hospital? Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? Don't you lie to me. She is throwing her talent away. It's time to not be dancing anymore. to talk about Bernardsville, New Jersey. Second, 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 second. Second place, your dream will be my dream. Love is your lifeline. The duet was fifth. It's OK. Everybody needs knocked down a few pegs. Even you, Maddie. Such is life. Normally, when the kids get second place, she's screaming at them that they're the first to lose. So there's definitely something up with her. So let's talk about the group dance. You looked exquisite. But I didn't see a love story. Your dream will be. Your dream will be. If you want to be second, then you did a great job. If you want to win, you might have to go back to the basics. I'm not going to yell at you or scream at you or anything else. I'll just smile and be sweet and nice, and you'd be second. You know, I don't trust this whole Abby's being so sweet thing. It's like, look over here while I punch you from this side. This week, we will be traveling to Minneapolis, Minnesota. We will attend Intensity Dance. We've been there before. We're going again. So let's move on to the pyramid. First, Mackenzie. 11 points between you and the next person. 11 points. Next on the pyramid, Nia. You weren't feeling well. We can blame that. You know how to perform. But the legs get sloppy, the feet get sloppy, the arms get sloppy. Next, I have Paige. Your arms out of control. I tell you, you still do it wrong. Next, Maddie. You did four turns in the corner, stunning. Then you bobble on simple, easy things. I threw you a lifeline. You must have missed it. Next, Kendall. Remember I told you before your mom could hurt you or she could help you? This week, she helped you. Kendall is second on the pyramid this week, one spot away from Maddie. This is great. Only one spot away from the top, and I'm not going to stop until she gets there. She wants you right on Maddie's heels, chomping at the bit. I think that's a good thing. That seems a little cutthroat, but teach his own. If dance competitions aren't cutthroat, I don't know what is. I'm quite sickened by Abby praising Jill for using certain tactics to get Kendall ahead on a pyramid. I think they're cutthroat, and I think they're devious. I'd rather have my kid low on the pyramid. And now, the top of the pyramid, Brooke. Brooke's at the top of the pyramid because she deserved to be there. Her solo was amazing. She was the leader in the group dance. Her parts with Maddie were amazing. She is on the top of the pyramid because she deserved it. And Brooke, don't forget, the person on top of the pyramid always has a target on their back. You're the one to knock down a peg. Yes? What about me? What about you? How come I'm not on the pyramid? You're on suspension. What this kid doesn't realize is that she's working harder now. She's starting to think, you know what? Maybe my mother crossed the line. 
I need to get back into Abby's good graces. And the way to do that is to work hard in class. The name of the group routine is Don't Ask, Just Tell. Now, this is a term that was used in the military. And we're going to try to tell this story on stage. The theme of the group number this week is the former military policy, don't ask, don't tell. Some brave hero fighting for our freedom could be discharged from the military just for being gay. But this is my take on it. I don't want any secrets or lies. I want these kids to be truthful with themselves. I want them to let it all out. I also have a few solos. The first will be Brooke. My next solo goes to Kendall. Maybe those privates out in the hallway paid off. I have one more solo to give. Maddie, you will be performing uphill battle. And your battle is uphill. Don't settle for second. At this point, I'm going to dismiss you from Pyramid. Please go ahead and exit the door. I would like you to sit in the den and warm up. Moms, I'd like you to take the place of your daughters. You don't like me to yell at your kids. You don't like me to raise my voice or to get angry or to be mean. If you think that being all nice and sweet is going to get your kids to the next level, you're dumber than I thought. If you're good with your kids being second, this is the wrong place for you. When they step out on stage, they need to be brilliant. And they're not. If your kids want to do this, and want to succeed, they need to get back to the basics. They need to forget all the other things, and they need to focus. I want them to be the best that they can be, but they have to want it too. All right, you're dismissed. And tell them when they get back in here, they better be marching. Come here, come here, listen to me. You go in there and you be amazing, okay? You make her see you because she can't help but look at you because you're so amazing, okay? Watching Chloe raise her hand and ask Abby what about her on that pyramid is so hard for me. I give her a lot of credit for having the courage to stand up and say, don't forget about me. You don't even know what that is. Boot camp, sit-ups, push-ups, conditioning. These kids need to start working again. They need to be sweating, bleeding, crying. They have to want it bad. I chose this routine because every single one of you has to get back to the basics. Where is the technique? Where is the love of dance? Where is the passion for performing? So I went to the gym today, and I stayed home all day, and I was online all day looking for a place for Greg and I to go on a honeymoon. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, a just, just a little one, you That's know. So You're wearing a wedding band, are you married? Melissa's wearing a wedding ring, but last time I checked, she's not married. You're not even supposed to have your wedding band Wait a minute. Bed. Are, are you going to get married soon? Yeah. Hmm. Are we invited? No, she already told us, remember? No, it's just going to be us. It's just going to be a really little wedding. You're not going to take your well, kids? Well, just as many people. Just us. just us. Can you not put Abby on the guest list? <laughs> Can you imagine Abby at Melissa's wedding? I mean, really. I feel sorry for anyone who has to wrestle her for that bouquet. How can we help? Last time we tried to do something like a stripper, you weren't really all that interested. He had love handles. Can we take you dress shopping? That'd be sure. so fun. I think it'd be fun. The last time we took you dress shopping, Holly and I were the ones in China in the wedding yeah. dresses. And I'm not it's trying awesome. anything on this no. time. <laughs> Girls, the name of this routine is Don't Ask, Just Tell. This is 2013. Be proud of yourself. You want to win the war, don't you? Let's get ready. We all know about the military reference, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But my take on that, I want everybody to tell. I want kids to be proud of who they are. I want everybody in this world to speak up and take a stand for themselves. So we're entitling this routine, Don't Ask, Just Tell. What story does that dance tell you right there? I think that Abby is showing her support to the gay community. Gay? I never no, thought that I, out of this. I, isn't it like, don't ask, don't tell? What did you do? I, get on the floor. Give her the floor part so she can get up with you. 
No, I took the side area out to the cardinal stiff back handspring. No, Shanae. One, two, step together, stand up. Yes? The hip hop number this week is really hard. Um, Mackenzie's struggling a little bit, um, you know, but she looks adorable in it. Why did you do the leg thing that you can't do? I changed it because you couldn't do it. You better shape up or ship out. You no, know, I still took great offense to Abby praising Jill. I don't think that was right. Nia and Kendall were both in the duet together, yet one gets to move up the pyramid and one stays way at the bottom. But she even said, she said, sometimes your mother can hurt you, but in this case, your mother helped you. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what she taught in there today. That's what she said. Say, that's what she did. You moved up the pyramid because you snuck behind your friend's back and got a private to better yourself. I'm not a sneak. I don't know. I thought last week was sneaky. Jill approaches life as a competition, so I think if there's any opportunity for a child to move forward or advance, Jill's always strategizing for Kindle to move ahead. Holly, if you feel Nia needed help with something, who am I to stop you from getting that help? Who am I to say you're sneaky? Did you invite Nia to be part of a no, private for the duet? No, what's funny, it wasn't a private. I didn't invite Gia. This was about a duet, not having one child outshine another in a duet. It's not a solo. I can't believe you're still stuck on this. I, I am. Get because over it. It's, a fun it's, it's done, it's over. No, I'm entitled to have my opinion. And I'm entitled to my, why are you entitled, Holly, and not me? You're entitled to your wrong opinion. That's fine. Bam. I have nothing to hide. And all those moms know I'll do whatever it takes to get Kendall to the top of the pyramid. OK, it's not a secret, and it's not a lie. Deal with it. Do we have any um, dates yet for our concert? Um, yeah, we have some good tests. We're trying to iron out the, the floor, because I'm in a different place. So it's like, I have to bring them on. Uh, put yeah, it down. hold on one second. She's down. right here. Abby. Who is it? Some guy. Hello? Oh, hi, how are you? Abby gets a phone call, and she starts being really giddy. And I don't know who's on the other line, but I know it's a guy. I know, how are you? She's giggly. And did you see how she acted when it's a guy? Like, <laughs> what is she doing on the phone? She always yells at us for even looking at our phones. And she's down there, blah, 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 blah. I didn't lose my number. Whoever she's, she's talking to, she looks she's happy. Open Look at her. Maybe she called Jill's 900 number. <laughs> Talk with it. If you notice, I haven't had that in a while. <laughs> no one is rehearsing. Not a solo is being rehearsed. Not a group dance is being rehearsed. It's like a total waste of time. These kids could be doing something. The girls should be running their solos. So you're supposed to leave tomorrow, but you're staying so we can go out? Well, that's nice. We want to know who she's talking to. I just want to tell you what happened. Her phone rings, Gia answers it, and it's some man. <laughs> I'm kind of excited for Abby. A guy would be great for her. Whatever keeps Abby happy is good for all of us. She's I'm still talking. She walked, she got up and left me in the dust. It's probably because it's the first boy who's ever called her. I might be a little rusty. I haven't been out in a while. I need a little hubba hubba. That's, that's definitely right. I hope she goes on a date. Maybe oh, she'll get laid her. so she's not so miserable. <laughs> the kids are in the room ready for rehearsal, and Abby's out there on the phone. She's always on them for not being prepared. And here they are, they're ready to rehearse, and she's out there on the phone. Like, get off the phone and practice what you preach. <laughs> Make me puke. Oh. Come on, let's go find out who I it is. Not going I don't want to know who she was on the phone. You guys come on, come on, come on. care less. Come on. I so don't want to know what's going on with Abby's love life. I mean, talk about don't ask, just tell. I don't want her to tell me anything because the images that come to mind are horrifying. Okay, well, thank you for calling. I look forward to seeing you. We're investigating. Okay, Melissa <laughs> has a question for what? you. What? We love how giggly you were. Oh. <laughs> we don't when usually see you so happy. Well, you know you took me on that speed dating thing. Huh? No, 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 no. But when I left there, I went the other way to get on the parkway to go home. And I stopped at a, the, at a gas station. And I met this guy that was standing there right next to me pumping gas. Did he offer to pump your gas? Yes, he did. Oh. Well, let's help Abby prepare for her date. No. Oh. Oh. Charge of her clothes. Oh, and you yeah. can do her makeup. I can do her makeup. I can do her hair. That'd be fun. Uh, so 
like Mo, Larry, and Curly are going to help me? I don't think so. I'm going to go get my nails done. That's it. I'm not getting them done because I have a date. I'm getting them done because they need done. Okay. That's okay. We can start with that. All right. That sounds like fun. There you go. There you go. These moms are ridiculous. I don't need nor do I want their help. I've been on plenty of dates before. Come on, Kendall, get in here, let's go. Don't look down at the floor when you walk around. Kendall Solo is entitled Secrets and Lies. Kendall, you need to tell that audience that you are keeping a big secret. Legs together, your ankles are separated. I'm so excited that Abby is giving Kendall a solo this week. Get a plie in there, you're not even turned out. The more opportunities this kid has, the better she is going to be. OK, There's, you're just dead in the face. You're dead in the face. It's what you make it on the stage. You get out there and you look like some scared little kid. Not going to have too many more solos. I need to see this. If you want to be Maddie and your mother wants you to be Maddie, then you need to get the face. Each dancer has their own unique style. And I understand that Abby wants Kendall to dance like Maddie. I want Kendall to dance like Maddie. However, you don't want a canned presentation where every single kid looks exactly the same. Go. Uh, Come on, everybody, let's go. Uh, Girls, let's go, let's go. You hurt your foot? Where's Mackenzie? Group rehearsal is starting again. Mackenzie is not in the rehearsal, and I have to see what's going on. Ken's, I'm coming. What's wrong, honey? I just go home. Okay, but honey, but don't cry. Why are you crying? I don't want to let her down. Aw, oh, honey, I know you don't. But you're not letting Miss Abby down. <laughs> It'll let her down if you hurt it worse. And she understands that. So how about we get some ice on it? It's OK. You just need to rest it. Mackenzie actually hurt her foot two weeks ago. And she's been really, you know, limping. And she's not doing well at all. How's your foot, Mackenzie? What happened? I'm so sad for Mackenzie, because I think this dance probably the best dance that she's ever done. And she really shines in the dance. So she's so brokenhearted. Yes? I just want to tell you, this is Mackenzie's probably most favorite dance. She hurt her foot doing a back tuck on front day, but it's not even swollen. I don't know what's really wrong with Mackenzie's foot. I kind of have to see how she's moving. Maybe it's all in her head. Maybe she just doesn't want to be in the group routine. Maybe she doesn't want to be the reason they don't win. Do you want to see what she can do and then? So she needs to do it or she's out. I need to, I need to work on it without her. OK, got it. Miss Abby wants you to put your your boots on, Ken's. Just go in and see what you can do, OK? See, just try to do the dance, OK? Why, why is she having Mackenzie do the dance if she's hurt? Face, Mackenzie, face! And I think Melissa said, no, no, she loves the dance. I love point numbers, and that doesn't mean I can do them. Uh, I don't know what's quite going on, because like a second ago, Mackenzie was crying that her foot hurt, and now she's rehearsing with the group. Hmm. Watch your line. You're, in a, you're not in a window. You're right behind Maddie. Get in the window, Kendall. Be smarter. So you guys, we're going to have a little bridal shower for Melissa and take her to dress shopping Wait because a minute. she agreed. Last time we mentioned a ring, we got a cease and desist. If we have a bridal shower, we might get full on sued. No, I think it's different now. I'm sure. Did all the divorces go through? <laughs> I think she wants us to be a part of it now. Before, maybe she didn't. I don't I don't know. That's what we wanted to do last year with her, and she wouldn't let us. She kind of was like, back off. I think Melissa's in a better place with us now. She's letting some of her guards down, and it's actually opening up more. OK, girls, you have one chance. That's the way it works. You all got lucky. Remember that. Do you think you can do the group dance? Because if you can't, I need to take you out. No fooling around, no walking, no going to the mall, walking on cement. If she's OK to dance, she'll dance. If not, it's more work for you. Hi. I need to get my nails done. Are you getting them done for anything special? I don't know. I might have a date. Not oh. sure. Oh. The thing I do to pamper myself is my nails. That's it. Got to have them looking That's good. That's it. 
I don't get a lot of time away from the studio. So if I see a chance to pamper myself, I take it. Yeah, isn't this great? This Here is they are, nice the three like, blind mice. How are you? Hi. 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 Were you having a little sip of wine? Chill. Oh, How long you know me? It's water. You should have. This is this your relaxation. I know, but I have to go to the dance studio and deal with your children. You want me all liquored up? All the more reason to be all liquored up. What you fail to realize is that you're usually not that happy at the studio. I'm not that happy because you're all there. <laughs> Abby doesn't want to admit it, but she really needs our help. Oh, that might be nice, Abby. Jill. That looks just bear with okay, me. Jill, bearing. I got one thing going for me, and it's cleavage. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not covering it up. She's trying to choke me to death. I'm 40 something years old. Oh, I can trust myself. You guys are making a big deal about Is this. It it's just a little studio? casual. Yes, happy for you. Hey, let's go have we dinner thing. Happy. Now the moms want to live vicariously through me instead of their daughters. I mean, come on, has it been that long since they've been on a date with their husbands? Oh, this is like Abby's prom. I know. Oh, stop. You're ridiculous. Are you, up, girl, you, girl, are you gonna do something so special with your hair? Yeah, I mean. Like color it 50 shades of gray like you? I know I have gray hair. You know what? We're here to help Abby. It would be nice if she showed us a little gratitude. So have you decided what you're wearing tonight? I'm going to wear a black shirt, and I'm going to wear some rhinestone jewelry bling, and I'm going to probably go to dinner, and that's it. Okay. That well, sounds that like sounds what you wear to the dance studio. What are you going to do if he shows up with a baseball cap? He, would, he, he won't, won't, Jill. He won't. He's cool. I keep telling you, inside, I'm like a size 6 product. You just don't get it. I like the LA guys. Like, I like, but I like the dumb jock guys, too, that have to go to the gym all the time and just, uh. So he's not a dancer? I don't know. I mean, that's a good question. I'll have to ask him. I forgot. I don't know. Put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's this. Jill, <laughs> Jill, there's people here. This is just all too much. My personal life is my personal life. They need to worry about their girls working their butts off in the hip hop routine. We gotta get going, Ab. I'm so sorry they interrupted. You had to watch Jill bump and grind it. I know. I'm so sorry. And they need great? to do it. Bye, Bye ladies. This so is so beautiful. They really want to help Bye. you get ready. They're not. Then step through. Maddie's doing a new solo called Uphill Battle. This is a little different than what she usually does. It's hard hitting, it's edgy, it's a little darker. Toes on her on that. I'm watching Maddie and her dance looks great. Lots of new things in her dance, which I think is great. Maddie looks on YouTube and you know always wants to try something new. So it's exciting. Nice. Maddie's gonna go on on that stage and have to really be over the top with her emotional execution. It's like you're fighting an uphill battle. Get it? All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So, oh well, what else are you wearing besides black? I thought I you were doing a different color besides black. No. What about your neck? I've been teaching all day, Holly. I know, but I'm just going to grab something to eat. Yeah, you, great. you need red, red lips. Oh, oh red lips would be you good. Need red lips. Chill. I've been doing this a long time. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? Um, uh, I'm here for Abby. Pick up Abby. Okay. What's your name? Louie. Louie. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Where did you get that? You're ruining your look. Oh my God. She's so excited. TikTok. Just saying. I'll have the TikTok. Maybe you can save it for later. You never know. On a first it's date. It's a first date. I didn't run a credit check. You, know, <laughs> I didn't get it. No, you no, never no. know. These moms are making such a big deal out of this. It's not the senior prom. It's dinner with some guy I'm probably never going to see again. Moms, calm down. A nice handshake or a kiss on the cheek is just fine. Did you put deodorant on? I don't sweat. I glisten. <laughs> Your date is here. <gasps> we'll be like the welcome wagon. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Are you here to see Abby? Yes. Oh, yeah, I was helping her. she's going to hate his jeans. Oh. Should I take them off? No. Well, <laughs> I, I think you look really nice. It's the whole, but. I oh. fell in the pothole in the park. <laughs> I like him already. So, like, the story she told was amazing that she two just happened to be pumping gas. Yeah, I helped her pump her gas. Yeah. That's so nice. nice. I'm very helpful. She likes helpers. She likes helpers. Oh, yeah. yes. She just likes to snap her fingers and let people do everything for her. Oh, really? And she'll talk a lot about 
herself. I know. Pull out her chair at the restaurant. I always Seriously. do that anyway. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, the good. Door, then she the could. restaurant would be a yeah. gentleman. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like that. I think he's okay. all right. Okay, good. Okay. Right. I think you look well. It was nice meeting right. you. I love him, too. Hmm. We met him. Oh, you did? He's yeah. really sweet. Very stylish. He has a bow tie on. And, and a nice dress. And a jean. Dress. No, nice jeans. No, jeans. It's, it's, it's clean. It's clean. He's clean. He's Did good. you make him cough, too? <laughs> All right. How tall is he? Not very tall. You might be tall. Oh, no. No, he's not that tall. <gasps> Did you not see him? I was in the car. He said, want some help? I'll take care of it. I said, fine. Uh, so I wasn't, like, standing next to him. Louis, we forgot to ask. I think he's Italian. What would you say? Oh, I don't know. I think he's very excited about your date. Oh, well, it's just dinner, girls. So have fun. Enjoy. Thank, thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hello, hello. Louis is not exactly as how I remember him. He's much uh, more petite. You ready? Yeah, I am, but I, you know what? I don't know where my purse is. Do you have it? OK. It's hard. I've been teaching all day. Right on. All right, where are we going? Right, right down the road. OK, cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 They're Open your the friends. Door. No, they're not my friends. Jane. They're my customers. Door. Door. Little kids, good night. So have you been here before? No, but I did rent the whole joint out. What? I so have a sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, well, that's I nice. Mm. Good. Then we don't have to worry about being loud. Now be as loud as you want. Hey, this is really nice. There's a candlelit table in the corner. I'm ready to be wined and dined. So what, uh, what is your type of guy? What are you looking for? Probably the same type of guy everybody else is looking for. Ah. Somebody that's honest, mm -hmm. makes an honest living, works hard at their job, passionate. So you're not in a relationship right now, obviously. Well, kind of have a long distance. We all have a long distance. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a long distance. It keeps it out there. So I'm writing a book. You're writing a book? I am going to write it. I'm writing a book. Oh, really? It's about relationship. I'm very good. I see I'm, I'm on the verge of figuring women out. <laughs> so my book will help. I like a guy that can make me laugh. There's not enough laughter in my life. And frankly, I like to have fun. <gasps> this is the Ooh. chef's specialty. It's chocolate eruption. Eruption. Mm. Wow. It's one of my favorite words. It is. I have about 12 favorite words. Oh, really? What, can you name them? Not on right now. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. I have the first bite. Mm -hmm. Is that good? So tell me about your dance background. Yeah, dance back. I had a slight dance background. Tell me. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was a male stripper. No, you weren't. Yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> they made me do it. Come on, are you going to dance on this no, table? No, I am not dancing on this table. Why? I'll break it. Wuss. <laughs> I am 180 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. <laughs> this, this table will crack. Twisted steel and sex appeal. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey! It's like the evil stepsisters. <laughs> Holly, Melissa, and Jill are relentless. They want to know all about my date. Ladies, none of your business. OK, so tell us what happened on your yeah, date. Yeah, let us come and check in. Normally, I would drive my own car, my own keys, my own transportation. He drove you. Just saying. Just saying. Is he smaller than you? Not even a. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you had fun. I'm glad. Where did you go? What did you do? We went over to that uh, Flowers in the Attic, that restaurant. Oh, that was such a It's kind of romantic, place. isn't it? Yeah. It's charming. I don't know. I'm not a big antique kind of girl. I like clean, modern. Yes, new, you do. You know. But it was very nice. It was funny and he we. Seemed it. I laughed. Oh, what was I, that? I. I I haven't laughed in a long time, and I really laughed. It was so funny. That's I think his. I was kind of laughing at him instead of with him, but you know. He thought that he was just hot stuff. 
He referred to himself as 180 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. You know he's a former male stripper. Shut up. When I found out that he was a former professional dancer, I was like, who did you tour with Celine Dion? You know, come on. Do I see Louis in my future? I don't know. I need more laughter in my life. So I might just keep him around. I'll tell you what. I didn't care if I ever saw another kid dance. I was so glad to get out of the studio last night. Let's just say I teach the girls almost everything. <laughs> where the dance studios are that have 1,200 students, 2,000 students. So you're going to be up against some pretty amazing kids. The name of your routine is Arm Yourself. They're not talking about your arms. They're talking about have your secret weapon. Know how to get out of a situation. Yes? So let's see it. Brooke knows that she was born to be a dancer. She knows that she can do acrobatic tricks that not too many people can do. Roll forward and hold. Collapse, bend that knee, arch up, hold. But I keep throwing her on top of that pyramid, hoping someday she might just rise to the occasion. OK, Brooke, you're finished. Good work, I will see you tomorrow, and we need to finish it tomorrow. Because you only have two more days before you're in Minnesota against all those amazing kids. Be prepared. Arm yourself, get it? The more information you have, the stronger you can be. Okay. I decided to get Kendall some new and improved Headshots, something maybe a little different, a little bit snappier than the others. But I want something dynamic. I want something that jumps off that pyramid and says, here I am. I want to be number one. Yeah. Wow. Like, I think you're pulling Sorry, all my hair off. Sorry. I know that Kendall gets a little uptight when I'm always fixing her hair. Could you shush him? It's hard being beautiful. I want her to look her 100% best. It's my job as her mom to get in there and make sure that happens. That's good, right there. <laughs> That's it, good, good, good. Turn your head a little bit, perfect. What a great shot, oh, Kendall. I love That's beautiful. That one. You nailed it. I would love for other opportunities to come from this. I would love for her to show up in commercials, do some print work, anything. That looked like a superstar to you. Get me happy with that. That's it, very nice. The sky's the limit, and now is the time. I've got to take advantage of this beautiful little girl right now. Okay. Can I get one with Kendall? Can sure, I get in? Sure, that'd be awesome. Go ahead, snuggle in there with her for one. That's very nice. Let's grab another one. What a great shot. You're going to airbrush me, right? Uh-huh. It's one, two, three. Nicely done. Here, hop up one sec. That's it. Good. Good, good, good. Turn your head to your left. One little notch. Very nice. Melissa, I'm excited and actually a little surprised that you agreed to do this. Why? Uh, because last time we tried to take you to a wedding shop, you were like, that was like a year ago. Not speak to me about weddings. And here's a letter <laughs> from my attorney. It wasn't that long ago that just asking about Melissa's diamond on her hand, you know, resulted in us getting a letter threatening draconian legal action. And now we want to take her to buy a dress? Like, are you ladies serious? We're <laughs> friends now, so things are a little Aww. different. And oh, it's. Hey, I thought I was your friend then. You were my friend then. Now, I'm inviting all the moms into my life a little more. And, you know, we're kind of open books now. We tell each other everything. Melissa to feel good about herself. There's no reason to hold grudges or be worried about secrets. Let's just put the past behind us and move forward and make this good. Cheers! Oh, that's a big cheers! 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 Che
Jill is very competitive, even when it comes to a bridal shower. So going to look at wedding dresses, who brings in the best desserts, who gets to help Melissa try on gowns, whose idea was it? Everything can be a competition. So I'm not surprised that Jill has this take charge kind of attitude. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, you're so thoughtful, Holly. It has hearts oh, on awesome. it. That is beautiful. I know exactly I love where to put it. Is this, this is from Christy? That's for me. Mm -hmm. There's a little card in there. I wanted this. Oh, ta-da! Wait, now that you have to take it out of the box and hold it up. I love it. This is from Jill. Oh, so thank you. I feel young. This is from Kelly. said just married because I was confused because you wear your wedding band all the time. I wasn't sure if I missed the wedding or not. <laughs> I don't know why Melissa is so secretive. You know, it's like she's afraid. Like, what are you afraid of, Melissa? Why won't you tell us? I like my wear. I think it's bad luck to wear the wedding band as you're trying on the dress. And, and that and bottle it's... just goes with it. It's your favorite oh. wine. Oh, good. Thank, Thank you. you. If I did decide to have a wedding, it's just going to be very intimate, and it's just going to be basically my family and I. Let's practice tossing the bouquet. OK. OK? Oh, oh God. Come on. Jill will kill a bitch to get that thing, because <laughs> it's all about the win. Well, put it this way. I could get it if I wanted it. I really awesome. We're a bunch of middle-aged women lunging for a bouquet. This could be potentially hazardous. Someone could break a hip. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kelly, Holly, and I are having a little too much fun at the bridal shop. If we keep going, I think we're all going to be trying on bride dresses. Do you have an idea as to what dress you want? I, I wanted kind of something simple, um, something slim, not sexy, anything. Something a little uh, bit bigger. But well, but sexy, that's anything. how you met him. Yeah, I like uh, that. With, like, cleavage yeah, yeah. up here. <laughs> we know he likes that. <gasps> Ooh! Let's try this one on. OK, here she comes. I don't uh, like it, but I'm going to show you. It's not my, it's not really what I'm looking for. Definitely going to need bigger than a six. Oh, oh that's pretty. That's pretty, too. It is pretty. I love the bottom. Ooh. I love Ooh. this dress. Oh, pretty. And you know what? Guess what color this comes in? What? Pink? Pink? Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I love that one, too. Yeah, that one's beautiful. I think that that dress would be amazing if you were, like, 23 and a virgin. I think all of these dresses that Melissa are trying on are beautiful, and they're very pure. And I think when you're on your third marriage, I don't know if they're the appropriate choice. This is the skinniest mirror when in all of America. When you sit your ass down and put it I love that mirror. How do you like we have to invite ourselves to be part of her wedding party? Me, of all people, probably shouldn't be part of the wedding party. I don't really think I should, considering like we usually fight like cats and dogs. Her well, Abby's probably her maid of honor. Abby. We won't have fun <laughs> if Abby's there. No kidding. Melissa, you cannot invite Abby. It won't be fun. OK, I'm naked. Oh, why are you naked? Are you wearing undies? Um, just my Spanx. Well, you're already one step ahead of Kelly. <laughs> Going dress shopping with Melissa is really a turning point, I think, for all of us. The fact that we were there and we were able to share in her joy, that was huge. Ooh, oh! A few more drinks, and I think Dr. Holly's going to be modeling, you know, wedding night lingerie. Oh. Oh. oh, it's pretty. I love this dress. I'm and sorry. It does. It's done. It's oh, it's so I love this dress. Look how gorgeous this is. I, I love this dress. You look like a princess. I just would love for Greg to see me in this dress. Well, he can't see you in this dress. It's bad luck. I meant getting married. Uh, I feel fabulous in this dress. And it was so sweet of the moms to take me dress shopping. And I feel like a million bucks. Hi, girls. How you doing? Good. I'm going to take Kenzie to the hospital, but I just wanted to drop Maddie off. What do you mean, the hospital? Her foot is killing her. I thought you did the dance last night, and it looked pretty good. Still bothering you? No, you I need just... to get it looked at. Go to the hospital. It's going to be needles and <laughs> all kind of stuff. You know, I'm concerned that 
something might be broken in Mackenzie's foot. So I'm going to leave Maddie here. I'm going to go take Mackenzie to the hospital. Got it. I can't have a wounded soldier, can I? <laughs> this is the ALDC. This is it. This is the last day. Tomorrow, you're on a plane going to Minnesota. This is all you get, kid. You're going on that stage, and Kendall beat Chloe. She beat Chloe, she can beat you. Where is Melissa? Oh, she took Mackenzie to the doctors. Oh, here, so she is she not coming? Oh, you, you slide right into her spot. No, just giving you a God little more room. God's sake, Joe. I was just surprised because yesterday, Melissa said she was fine and it wasn't that bad. So and she just, wanted I'm, her to do the group dance, remember? Exactly. So she's okay. She can do it. I didn't see anything. Nothing looked unusual during rehearsal. Everything looked fine. I didn't notice any injury or Mackenzie getting hurt. Uh, Melissa's calling me. Hello. Hi. Hi. I just asked her, did you take Maddie off? Yeah. I thought she was okay. Well, Maddie's worried that. Well, she's going to dance tonight. Yeah. And, um, Maddie keeps saying, Mom, Matt, Mackenzie is falling and hurt so bad. So, Aww. I'm just kind of worried that, you know, we're on Paige. Yeah. She's worried the same thing. Because if it's swell, it's not swollen at all. Yeah. Yeah, Paige just didn't even cry. And it was broken. Yeah. So, all right. Well, tell her we're thinking of her. OK, thanks for thinking, Matt. All right, and I'll just have her stay over. OK, thank you. OK. OK. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Shoulders down! I thought Melissa liked the bridal shower. Did you guys? I do, too. Oh, I think she had a good time. Yeah. I thought she had fun. Why she... everybody likes that, like, that moment? I'm... Oh, yeah. Like, you're like the, the star, bee, man. Yeah. Well, last year wasn't as much fun. She didn't try on any dresses. I mean, she, I tried on she dresses. She denied even being engaged last year. Why does she wear her wedding band if she's not already married? I thought she no, was secretly married. Is that the secret you're trying to get out of her? You think she's married? I probably am the one who knows the least about Melissa's wedding details, and I'd like to keep it that way, because something says that she would sue me first. You need to make sure that you get still, there's still a reaction there. It's like turn, 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 drop. It's never turn, 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 up, fly, drop. Up, yes, big, okay? Have you heard from your mother? No, all I heard was she was taking the test to the hospital. All right, don't worry about your sister. It's not life or death, it's her foot. Worry about your feet. All right, get the group in here and get the boots on. Let's go. Do you think Kenzie can compete this weekend? What if she comes back with a boot? Paige still had to do yes, a hip-hop dance do with hip-hop with a hip with the boot oh, on. Remember? Paige Paige you can. Trouble. I forgot about that. Touche. Well, the thing is that this hip-hop dance, you have to be able to move really quickly and with confidence. Yeah, and she's got combat boots on. I'm not sure I recommend it, whether it's broken or not. Absolutely. Give it a rest. Hey, but that's why we wore combat boots in ours, because Paige had the black boot right. on, and it blended in. Hello. OK, let's go, let's go. This is the last day of rehearsal before competition. I need to get my girls ready to travel to Minnesota and go up against some of the best studios in the entire country. More facials! Come on, Nia! We're doing a hip hop number, and that is well out of our comfort zone. So I need these girls to rise to the occasion and win. I just want to go over the storyline here. You're my soldiers, and it's called Don't Ask, Just Tell. And that's taken from the old slogan, Don't Ask, Don't Tell. What are, what are... I really don't know how to explain something like that. I don't think they really have a frame of reference. I don't think the kids really get... give a what the name of their dance is called. They just want to dance. Sometimes but I think with I don't the think dance the that they're doing, care. it helps to understand the characters in the dance to really I don't connect think this that. Is a character, but I would though. say, but this dance, I don't think that makes a difference. Gay military. So girls, don't ask, don't tell. Did anybody go home and talk to their mom about what that means? No? All right, I'm gonna get your moms down here. Somewhere God is yeah. looking down, going, I made the right choice by not letting that woman be a mother. All of us downstairs? Uh, Bringing my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna bring my purse. Head too. out. When I talk to the kids about the title of the routine, I just see blank faces staring back at me. 
They have no idea what I'm talking about, and it's not my place to tell them. So I call the moms down because I want them to have a heart-to-heart -heart with their kids and discuss some of this stuff. We live in a world where you should be free to love anybody you want. But just like the pyramid, I'm dismissing the girls, not the moms. Go ahead and go. Thank you. This is the age. They are better to be well-educated and confident and comfortable talking about things. That's for you to discuss at home, in your house. And I hope that you are respectful and open-minded. This is very much alive in the arts. You love working with Shangela. Yes. I mean, that's as good as it gets, you know. Shangela is fabulous. Uh, absolutely. Nia didn't know that Shangela was a man for the longest time. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Shangela. Did you explain what that is? We had to. I had to right. tell you, absolutely. And, and, but I that think... That was a great opportunity, thanks to you, to have that We explained it to the children, and I explained it to Kelly. <laughs> Abby keeps talking about acceptance and how we all need to be accepting. Well, I think Abby is the least accepting person, so maybe you ought to lead by example, Ab. Is that what the dance is about, is having a voice and having strength and right. power? I was, I, I just... Don't keep it a secret, because secrets are lies. Tell the world, and you'll feel that sense of freedom. So, that's not the conversation that I want to have with your daughters. I have enough trouble getting their legs straight and uh, stretching their feet. That's a conversation that you all have to have with your daughters. Look Ooh. at this. I'm going to wear this one. And on the other end. This is yours. No. What are you guys doing? We're just, We're just looking, looking at questions. questions. Yeah. So do you know what this dance means? Not really, kind of. Well, it's, it's talking about gay people. Okay. And you guys, especially being in the dance world, there's a lot of boys that dance that are gay. And you never want to treat them differently. I mean, you can't help who you fall in love with. So do you realize like what the don't ask, don't tell is? It's like if you're in the military and somebody asks you, you you're not supposed to say whether you are or you aren't. What if you couldn't express how much you love dance? Wouldn't that make you feel bad? So, like, that's why everybody should be able to express how they feel about anything or anyone. I just want you guys to grow up knowing it's everybody's choice to love who you want to love. So you guys understand what this routine's about? Yes. Yeah. Uh, are you guys OK with people being gay? A lot of gay people that I've met are a lot funnier and yeah, <laughs> a lot more attractive. Like, I think some of the best people in the world to be friends with are gay people, OK? <laughs> And anytime you guys want to talk about who you like, you can always talk to mommy and daddy. All right, okay. I'm going to be late for class. OK, Miss Maddie. Wonder how Kenzie is. Earlier, Melissa took Mackenzie to the hospital to get her foot checked out. So I have to drop Maddie off at home. And plus, I want to go in and see how Mackenzie's foot is. I have a peanut for you. Hi. Hello. Hi, Mad. Hi. How is she? Oh. oh, my goodness. They said they took x-rays, and it's not broken or anything. She sprained it. They said <sighs> 72 hours, no dance. Ugh. Sometimes a sprain's worse than a break. I know, so everybody says to me. Oh, my goodness. So she has to just keep it elevated whenever she can, and we have to ice it. You know that drill. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell Abby? Mm -hmm. Did we tell Abby yet? No, we haven't told Abby yet. I'm very brokenhearted for Mackenzie because she always loves to be in the group dance. And when she can hang with the girls, you know, it just makes a, I don't know, I just want her to be happy. And I'm so sad that she's not. Thanks for bringing Mad home. Oh, you're welcome. We beat you. I know. I was we at couldn't the get hospital. out of there. We went in and out. It's I just don't know what to think about Mackenzie's foot. I mean, two days ago, she was jumping around the dance studio like a jumping bean. And now she can't dance for three days, and it's right before the competition. So, Kenz, what do you think about not being able to dance? Sad. Sad. You're sad? Yeah, you're not going to know what to do with yourself, huh? You're always dancing. But Mackenzie loves this dance so much. It was really hard for her at first. 
you know, but once she caught on, she really loved it. She likes hip hop. Yeah. Our other grand. My kids hate hip hop. I mean, Mine probably wish they had the ace bandage on their foot so they didn't have to do this dance. Kenzie's actually really good in hip hop, I think, for her, you know? Yeah. I know the other girls, none of the girls really like hip hop. <laughs> just make sure you rest it so when you come back, it doesn't bother you again. I just think Mackenzie's a little intimidated by the hip hop dance. I think that it's a difficult dance, and I don't know, I feel like she bit off a little more than she can chew. Oh, it's crazy. So, Kenzie, you're going to come away with us at least to the competition? Mm -hmm. Cheer us on? <laughs> yeah. You can do the dance in your seat in the <laughs> audience. Intensity Dance in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now, I brought my troops all the way here, and they better be ready for battle. The Abby Lee Dance Company, better dance with military precision, because I will not accept anything less than first place. All right, now listen. You walked in, and you walked at least 50 feet in the hallway. If you can do that, you can dance. Your mother should have left you at home. Abby won't excuse a dancer from dancing unless you have a doctor's excuse. Mackenzie had to hand her a doctor's excuse saying she can't dance for at least 72 hours. Lo and behold, miraculously, appears the doctor's note. So you're going to get yourself in the audience, you're going to sit, and you're going to put your leg up. If you keep it dangling down, it's going to swell. Hey, if you can't do the number, then you can't run around this auditorium all day long. You're going to sit, and you're going to rest that foot so that you're better next week. What? Come here. When you asked if you can be back on the pyramid, what did she say? You have to show her like that you're improving and that you're working. It has nothing to do with me. I will do my best, but it has to come from you, OK? OK. I pull Chloe aside, and I tell her, you know, Chloe, you need to show Abby that you're committed to this. You know, she needs to be stretching. She needs to be running the dance. She needs to be showing Abby that she is taking the initiative to get back on that pyramid. Like, if you want to be back on the pyramid, you have to do it. OK. OK? Mackenzie? Look what Miss Abby has for you. Until you have a clean bill of health, your butt is in this chair. Get in it. Come on. When Abby walks into that dressing room with the wheelchair and she's heading over to McKinsey, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You are not bringing a wheelchair from McKinsey. Now, I don't want your arms sore. That's just a seat for you so that you're not standing. All right, Kendall, you ready? Kendall! What did we talk about? My face. Your face. You just arched up, rolled up into that knee, nothing. Vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. There's 31 flavors, and you're giving me vanilla. I don't want vanilla. I really like this choreography. It's contemporary. It's not quite as jazzy as she's done in the past. And I know Kendall can nail this. Unfortunately, Good is not going to win a war. Not against these enemies. Maddie, you ready? Ah, that was atrocious. This is an uphill battle. You're trying to get back on top of that pyramid. Neither one of the girls looks as sharp and as clean as I want them to. They need to get serious about this. I will not accept second place. Earlier in the week, Melissa said that Mackenzie didn't want to do the dance because she thought it was too hard. Yeah. So why can't she just say she doesn't want to do exactly. the dance? Maybe Mackenzie was intimidated by the hip hop dance. Maybe she didn't want to just step up and say, it's too hard for me. And so maybe the ankle injury wasn't quite as bad as it was, but it was an out. She's been on it all day. of nervous because, first of all, I'm against Maddie. And second of all, there's a lot of good dancers here. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the junior solo division, we have entry number nine. This is Kendall with Secrets and Live. just performed and she was good good enough for first place mm, i don't think so but i know that my best shot for first place is coming up next all right moving ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number 24 is maddie with uphill battle She was great. She brought it. I was very proud of her. Good job. I thought you rocked it. Hey, girls. 
Nice jobs. Good. Nice work. Good job. So, Kendall, what did you think? I thought I did good. You thought you did good? Yes. It's good enough? So why didn't you do great? I really thought she did a nice job. Abby always wants more. If she wants more, we'll have to try to give her more. But I was very pleased with it. Maddie, do you feel like you made it up the hill? Do you feel like that was the performance that's going to do it? Right, OK, good. Brooke, keep doing what you're doing. What? Mackenzie, I'm going to go take you into the audience. I think it's rude that Abby ran everybody's dances but Brooke's. Watch her do her dance, for God's sakes. If you want Brooke to be a leader and you want her to act like she cares, then maybe you should act like you care. Wasn't it nice for Abby to come in? But she left and didn't run Brooke so well. I don't know. It would be nice if her dance teacher was a cheerleader for her, maybe. Just saying. Abby wants Brooke to care about dance, but how is she supposed to care about it when her dance teacher doesn't even give a shit about her? Abby wants her to, like, want it so much. But how can she want it when her teacher doesn't want it for her? She sat here this entire time doing it by herself. She didn't look at her costume. She didn't tell her how to wear her hair. She didn't tell her nothing. But she did that one. But watch her do her dance, for God's sakes. If Brooke doesn't do well on this solo, I'm blaming it all on Abby. I don't know how Abby expects her to do well when she doesn't pay any attention to her. Has you know, guys, I have to use the restroom right quick. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, what kinds of secrets and lies do you think that Someone one's keeping? Someone here has a secret, apparently. Abby, hold up. Yeah. I want to show you something I had done for Kendall. I had some new headshots taken. OK. Because. Woo, that's beautiful. See, that's what I think of Tana when I look at her. She's a gorgeous child. I'd love to take advantage of that now while she's young. For the pyramid or at the studio? I love that. I think it's gorgeous. Can we use one of these for the pyramid? Oh, yes. Let's do a new pyramid shot. Jill wants her kid on top. And she'll do anything to get her there. Be careful what you wish for, Jill. Melissa. Mackenzie. Was running around here doing cartwheels. She was using her wheelchair as a prop. I was yelling at her all day. You said earlier in the week Mackenzie thought the dance was too hard. Mackenzie loved this dance, Christy. She told me she was so, she cried when she got home because she loved this dance so much. She's hurt. She's not lying. My child is not lying. I promise you. Earlier today, when Abby wasn't in the room, we saw Mackenzie doing cartwheels. I think she just doesn't want to be in the group dance, and Melissa's covering for her. And you have to see our point that we're saying. I do, I but my daughter is hurt. She was completely running around here that entire time. No, the doctor did not say for her stuff. not to walk, not to dance for 72 hours. She's not supposed to walk on her foot. You probably shouldn't be doing cartwheels either. My god, I didn't make her do it. <laughs> sake. I don't want you to think I'm picking on Mackenzie. No. Whatever. I already told you. I don't need to explain. All right, move ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number 42 for Brooke with Arm Yourself.
Brooke did really well in her dance, considering she didn't have a dance teacher run it with her. I think that if Abby would have been in the dressing room and ran the solo with her, Brooke wouldn't have forgot a step. I thought Brooke did really good. I yeah, thought she, she did well. Beautiful. I know yeah. one thing, I don't want to hear one thing from Abby. Why? Like, one correction. Because she wasn't in here to run her dance with her. Uh, you know what? If you can't give her the corrections before she goes on stage, then don't give her any. She spent no time with her. She never looked at her costume once. She never looked at her makeup. She never told her how to wear her hair. Nothing. Never watched her do a thing. She did it on her own. And I'm proud of her. Woo! Yes. You were amazing. Lovely. You were beautiful. Good job, Brooklyn. I loved it. Beautiful, girlfriend. I don't think you could have done it any better. And you know what? You had no help. Does that bother you that Abby doesn't help you? Hey. No matter how you score, I was proud of you. Thank you. I think Brooke showed a lot of maturity by doing this all on her own. She did it without a dance teacher. All right, Brooke. Nice job. Thank you. How did it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good? So, do you think it could have been better? You do? Well, why didn't you do your best? Well, I got stuck on my one turn, like on the floor, like. On the air best? Yes. Brooke did well with her solo, but I think she could have done a whole lot better. If Brooke would realize that she was put on this earth to dance, maybe she would work harder. Maybe she would be more passionate. What's the matter? Why are you sitting there sulking? Maybe if her dance teacher was in here running it with her before she I, went out on stage, she, she did would, it. It was great. Remembered. I said it was great. Brooke, if you keep running it and running it and running it, your back's going to hurt. You're the major here, or the colonel, or whatever it is. You need to be the, the you know, seniority up the ladder. She isn't treated, like, with seniority. I treat her like a 14-year-old. I have a bunch of 14-year-olds at home ready to do their dances, and nobody's there running it with them. Yeah, and you haven't run hers with her for the last two weeks, their last two solos. I expect you to remember. It's a two-minute solo. You need to remember it. Brooke is 14 years old. It's time for her to be independent. If she was in an audition, would she have her dance teacher there to run the numbers with her 10 minutes before she goes on? Uh, no. Brooke, it's time to grow up. What about you, Mackenzie? How's the foot? She just told me it felt a little better. It did feel a little better? She's resting a little bit, but it's... You're resting? What are you resting from? All the cartwheels you were doing? Come on. My eyes and ears are everywhere. Did Mackenzie really think that she was going to do cartwheels and I wouldn't know about it? Mackenzie, if you're faking that injury, there's going to be huge repercussions. She was hopping. Oh, Melissa. She was. I was watching her, Cal. Melissa, don't lie for your kids. I'm not. I'm you lie enough her. for yourself as it is what do you mean without I... lying for her. I was watching her. I think Melissa is covering for Mackenzie. They both need to just fess up and get their punishment over with already. I told her to sit down 100 times. She said, I'm not on my foot, Mom. Melissa, did your mom and dad take 100 times to tell you the same thing? Never. But you're letting her run you. Well, if you can do cartwheels and you can do this and you can do that, you can do the dance for how long? I wasn't on my foot. You weren't on your foot. I don't want to be lied to. You skipped down the hallway, you walked down the hallway. People heard you say it didn't hurt anymore. Let's all learn this lesson. You're injured, you're staying home. I, I need that like a hole in the head. I need to get to the bottom of this foot thing. Mackenzie and Melissa, their stories just start adding up. And there's one way to find out what's really going on. Interrogation tactics. Brooke, I want you to line everybody up. Right here, facing that way. Come on, let's go. Maddie! Yes, ma'am. Did Mackenzie go to the hospital when she left dance class? Yes, ma'am. Nia! Yes, ma'am. Did you witness Mackenzie doing cartwheels in here? I didn't see her do a cartwheel. Don't you lie to me. I just saw her walk. You saw her walk. Did she limp? Yeah. She doesn't have a broken foot. It's a sprained ankle. You can walk on a sprained ankle. Did anybody else witness Mackenzie out of the chair doing a trick or upside down? Finally, the truth comes out. I knew these kids would crack under pressure. Mackenzie, I'm not very happy. You're playing around and making a joke of it. I don't want a wounded soldier. 
Paige was in the cast for weeks. Want to get better and you want to be OK for Monday? You stay off it. Soldier, you save those tears for the pillow. We don't have time for tears. Do we all know what we're doing? Legs straight, feet pointed, shoulders down, timing, facial expressions. Before I deploy my troops, they need to get this choreography down pat. Windows, Chloe. This thing with Chloe has gone on long enough. Now, she hasn't been on the pyramid since her suspension. I want to talk to Chloe. I want to make sure she knows where she stands with me. Come here. I'm going to be watching you during this number, yes? And this whole thing is about don't ask, just tell. You need to start speaking up for yourself, yes? I've had issues with your mother in the past. My issue with you is that you don't speak up and tell your mother that's not right. We should not be doing that. That's against my contract. You need to speak up. Understand? That's why I'm disappointed in you. And if you walk into that studio and you can't look every instructor, including myself, in the eye because you have some secret that's going on and your mother says, don't say anything about that, that's a lie. Understand? Chloe and I have made a commitment to this team. Chloe is a national title winner. I have signed Abby's contracts. Like, we are clearly here. Let's move forward. Put her back on the pyramid, let the kid dance, and let's move on. Soldiers, are you ready? Yes, ma'am! The last time you did a hip hop dance, it was embarrassing. This time, it's not going to be embarrassing. This is it. My troops are ready to go into battle. This hip hop number is ready to step on stage. And I need the ALDC Army victorious. This is war. All right, here we go in the junior small group division. This is entry number 84 with Don't Ask, Just Tell. delightful to watch. They were not the least bit embarrassed, intimidated, awkward on stage. I mean, was it perfect? No, I think everyone made a mistake. Was it seamless? Was it flawless? No, 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 no. It wasn't any of those things, but it sure was entertaining. Oh, <laughs> you, you did great. it! Great. Oh, did you have fun? Oh, was it fun? It looked like you had fun. Get up, let's go, line up. Come on, let's go. Let's line up, line up, line up, let's go. I don't know why everybody's so happy and cheerful. I saw a ton of mistakes out there. And this is my army. If you mess up, 
there will be consequences. Face me. Now, Robert Nia, what mistake did you make? I accidentally twisted the wrong way. So, what do we do for that mistake? I don't know. You're the dance teacher. 20 push ups. <laughs> Next, Kendall, what mistake did you make? I needed to work more on my face and my spacing. You were chosen, and you were put in that spot next to Maddie. You get on stage, and you choke. Drop and give me 20. Maddie, what did you do wrong in the dance? I accidentally, like, I was, like, skipping up like that. Drop, give me 20. Tell me what you did wrong. I used my hand wrong. Drop and give me 20. Page. Drop and give me 20. M-I-A. Missing in action. You just should have marched off the stage. Drop and give me 20. Let's go. Come on. Soldiers, stand up straight. Could it have been sharper? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Tighter? Yes, ma'am. More energy? Yes, ma'am. Soldiers, about face. And march. Lift. At that door! I don't want to see you again! Yes, ma'am! Yes, ma'am! So, uh, to start things off, our elite teen solos. Third place with a score of 277.9 points is Miss Ellie with act number 40, I Will Always Love You. Your runner-up with a score of 280.7 points is Miss Brooke with act number 42, Arm Yourself. This is the second week in a row that she got second place for her solo. I think Brooke did really well, considering Abby was not there when Brooke needed her. All right, moving now into our elite junior solo division of competition. In fifth place, with a score of 278.4 points, is Miss Peyton with act number 21 tonight. In fourth place, with a score of 281.4 points, is Miss Kendall with act number nine, Secrets and Lies. Third place, with a score of 285.6 points, is... Miss Sailor with act number 14, Can You Hear Me? Your runner up from our elite junior solo division of competition with a score of 288.5 points is Miss Maddie with act number 24, Uphill Battle. Maddie learned this dance three days ago and came in second place to a girl that has probably learned her solo months ago. We're going to be acknowledging our top 10 highest scoring routines. Starting off in 10th place, points is act number 78, Mad World. In 9th place is act number 72, Bring on the Men. 8th place is act number 83, Hero. In 7th place, with a score of 274.2 points, is act number 84, Don't Ask, Just Tell. We finished in seventh, and I thought that was pretty good because I didn't think we would be in the top ten. Very well done. Seventh place. For Abby Lee Dance Company. Congratulations. Sixth place. Abby's probably not going to be happy about seventh place for this group dance. I don't know what she's going to make them do. Maybe boot camp again this week. No, I don't want it. I gotta look back. Oh here. my god, I have both. Oh, the kids everywhere. are still. I'm like, where are their costumes? Just keeping the ones right. Good job, over. girls. Really proud of you. You should be really proud of yourself. Oh, she surrendered. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm surrendering. Yeah. I'm waving the white flag because I surrender. I give up. I am sick and tired of fighting with these miserable women to get their kids to the next level. What place? Seventh? Maddie, second? I thought you were great. I thought you were wonderful. I thought the kid was sloppy and a mess. Kendall, 
outstanding being in fourth overall. Maddie, she's chomping at your heels. Figure out if you want more. And what about you? Second place, just think if you worked this much harder. Chloe, I thought you looked good. You just shake your head and spot down to the ground from time to time. And you will work on that. Yes. You guys should have turned around in that line and attacked those judges. Personally, I don't know what Abby's so upset about. I mean, it's a hip hop number, and hip hop is not exactly our forte. So, a little piece of advice, Abby, if you want the girls to win, how about giving them choreography and a routine that they're good at? Soldiers, you are discharged. Go! Out! I don't want to see you. Remember at the pyramid how I sent the girls out because I wanted to talk to all of you? You don't like me yelling at your kids? There was not one thing that I said that they didn't need to hear. Melissa, that kid should have won. She should have been 10 points above. You need to sit down with that kid, and you need to figure out what we're doing, because she could have just won that whole entire thing. She is throwing her talent away. And if she's in pain, and she physically cannot do it, Kelly, it's time to not be dancing anymore. Seventh overall high score? That doesn't sound like an overall high score to me. We went from second all the way down to seventh. That's abysmal. There is something broken in the ALDC, and I need to fix it and fix it quick. I will see you Monday, and I'll tell you what. The kids need to be in class, ready to go at 5.30. Next on Dance Moms, the group routine is about Rosa Parks. Mackenzie, do you know what being benched is? I'm the only one who gets in trouble for wanting something well, for my child. Well, because crazy stuff. Do something with that face! What's the status with Rosa Parks? We won last time. Remember that. They need men in hey, their They need do men. Do you like affection? Who said they saw Kathy with a bodyguard? Maybe if we throw a stick, she'll leave. I'm not the one that fell down the ugly tree and got hit by every branch. 